Though, uh, the, uh, another doctor coming to the show today, Dr. Michael Lim, friend of the show, cardiologist with Slew Care and SSM Health, St. Louis Hospital. Good morning, Dr. Lim. Good morning. Uh, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. One of the things coming out of this uh, Vegas shooting is uh, the phrase tr uh, level one trauma hospital, which I guess Las Vegas has won. Yes. So we wanted you to come on today and ask, what does that mean exactly? What does a level one trauma center mean? So I think it's a great question because it's a, a phrase that's kind of potentially overused and, and not well understood. Yeah. Uh, the trauma system in this country is actually run or, and, and delegated state by state. So the criteria with respect to a level one trauma center in any state or in Missouri comes from Missouri and what exists oh. over in Illinois or uh, in Iowa uh, or in, in Kansas would be slightly different. Uh, so states actually certify centers and hospitals to be level one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then vera. With the same criteria or, or different criteria? The, each state has their own, okay. uh, but there's, so, there, there's, there's only subtle differences between them. Okay. And so the general concept is the level one center basically has the ability to utilize all possible resources for any injuries associated with trauma which is stab wounds, gunshot wounds, motor vehicle accidents, uh, crush wounds, fires, then you name it. And, so and, and it the really, worst of the worst, the you worst can take them to the a level one, tra uh, level one trauma Correct. center. So they have, they have the surgery capabilities. They have the subsurgery capabilities like neurosurgeons that are available immediately, orthopedic surgeons, uh, and down the list uh, with all the other equipment you need. So you need a lot of radiology equipment, you need a lot of subspecialized uh, equipment in the operating rooms, as well as the nursing support staff and the uh, physician expertise that support the emergency department itself, as well as the intensive care units. Uh, and then the rehabilitation services to once these, if you're able to uh, get these people through their acute injuries and you survive them, they, you start them on a rehab process so that they can get back and on their feet. And gotcha. we have three in our region? We have three uh, level one trauma centers in this region. So Barnes Hospital uh, at Washington University and St. Louis University Hospital downtown. Uh, and then Mercy Hospital uh, over on uh, 64 and 270. And so is it normal to have three for a size for a town this this, this big or is that? Uh, yeah, that, I think that's appropriate uh, in terms of, you know, there's, I think there's about 3 million people uh, mm -hmm. in this region. Uh, and so uh, the distribution, you could argue, could be, you know, Barnes and, and SLU are kind of close together. And so it doesn't necessarily equal itself out, right. but uh, it works out. Now, the other interesting thing about the trauma thing is, you know, these are things that we've actually really learned, and this is this is one of the best systems that exists, even though it's state by state, it's one of the best systems that exists in the in the country for medical care. And we've learned it, unfortunately, from war. Uh, mm -hmm. And so uh, learning how to triage uh, uh, soldiers who are injured uh, on the battlefield and be able to get them to the appropriate place uh, in the appropriate time to be able to survive them. Uh, you know, it started way back in the Civil War when we didn't do a very good job of it. Right. Uh, and then has progressed every war, unfortunately, we've had a lot of them, every war since. Uh, and so the trauma system in this country kind of mirrors pretty much everything we've learned from the battlefield. Uh, you, you, you evaluate the injury on scene. You have the options of transporting uh, by ambulance or by helicopter uh, to a center most appropriate for that person's injuries. Uh, and so some injuries uh, are, are very well taken care of by a level two or a level three uh, a hospital. Mm -hmm. And so the patient would be taken directly there, especially when it's closer. Uh, when the injuries are viewed to be uh, so severe, uh, or needing higher levels of specialized care, then we have to be able to bypass uh, hospitals where we wouldn't necessarily be able to do the right thing for the patient. They right. sort of be there for a little while and we just delay care. So then you go over or go past those to a level one hospital. S something like Las Vegas, where clearly no system is built for 500 people shot all at once. In that situation, I guess triage, which is picking and choosing who needs to go when, where, that's probably the most important thing. Triage is very important, and the other things that uh, the level one centers uh, uh, actually do, um, and, and I think appropriately don't publicize it a lot, is disaster preparedness. Mm -hmm. And so there are plans, and there are uh, stockpiles of equipment and resources uh, to be able to handle the things that we believe could happen 
in the area. Mm. Uh, and, and they do run drills. They do run disaster drills. They run them in tandem with our first responders. Uh, so, you know, Barnes and SLU run a lot of things with the St. Louis Fire Department. And then sometimes they bring in the other fire departments from around uh, Richmond Heights, Clayton, and, and the others to uh, sort of do mini rehearsals of mass casualty type things. So right. you, you end up figuring out a way to quickly set up a triage area and then start distributing uh, uh, folks to the appropriate centers. The good news uh, around here, although we have three level one adult trauma centers, there's two uh, level one pediatric trauma centers. So Cardinal Glennon and Children's Hospital are mm. the are the pediatric uh, trauma centers. Uh, and then uh, there, there's there's a wealth of very good other hospitals around that yeah. could uh, accommodate a, a little less than a level one injury. What's amazing is people don't realize um, the coordination that has to take place in in a tragic event. The firefighters, the police, the EMTs, the public, the media. The, the 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 family members right i mean that is a colossal communication nightmare and it has to be all coordinated yeah that's why so you the, have the drills right that's why you have the mm-hmm. drills but even when you have the drills sometimes they don't necessarily work as well so you know remembering back to 911 uh you know that was that was the one of the most taxing uh situations on uh, an emergency response of of, of a major city mm-hmm. of course uh, our biggest in our country and uh uh, some of the things that we would like to work better, like uh, the actual radios, uh, being able to communicate right. from from uh, a person to person or hospital to EMS and that kind of stuff didn't necessarily work quite right. And so uh, there's always opportunities to try to figure out how these things can be tweaked a little bit better Mm -hmm. and move forward Uh, but I think human ingenuity and uh, as we just saw unfortunately again this past weekend in Las Vegas you know the individuals are the ones that make these things work but from all accounts it seems like in terms of their response the hospitals Vegas has done a tremendous job tremendous job Uh, they had uh, overwhelming unexpected amount of injuries Mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know we're we're grieving uh, for you know this this such a sad situation, but at the same time, uh, we're in admiration of the fact yeah. that uh, uh, at least some good things happened. Yeah, no, no system is built for 600 people to show up all at once. Not in one hospital. Yeah. No. Dr. Michael Lim, cardiologist with Slu Care and SSM Health, St. Louis Hospital. Thanks for checking in. Hey, let's have a good day here in St. Louis. You